Good morning, children. Welcome to Class Five Mathematics Unit Six Fractions Part One. In this session, you will learn how to find out equivalent fractions and checking equivalent fractions. Children, in Class Four, you have already learned what are fractions and types of fractions, right? Now let us recall. What are fractions? Fraction shows part of a whole. A whole can be a region or a collection. Let us see examples here. A whole pizza is divided into eight equal parts. Two parts are taken out. What is the fraction for that part? Two by eight. Here, two is the numerator and eight is the denominator. Numerator is the number of equal parts which have been taken out or left out. Denominator is the total number of equal parts in which the whole is divided into. Now see the next example. Here you can see a collection of flowers. How many flowers are there in this collection? Five flowers, right? Out of five, three are red and two are Yellow. How to write the fraction for red flowers? Out of five, three are red flowers. So we can write it as three by five. Now, what is the fraction for yellow flowers? Two by five. Okay, children. Now let us see the types of fractions. First. Like fractions. What are like fractions? Fractions that have the same denominator are called like fractions. Example: uh, Suppose these are the P A one marks of five main subjects. You know that the total marks of each subject is twenty five. Suppose you got twenty three marks in E V S. This will be written as twenty three by twenty five. Can be written as a fraction. Out of twenty-five, we got twenty-three marks. Like that, in other subjects, scores are twenty-two by twenty-five, twenty-five by twenty-five, twenty-four by twenty-five, twenty-one by twenty-five. Here, all these fractions have the same denominator, so they are like fractions. Next. Unlike fractions. What are unlike fractions? Fractions that have different denominators are called unlike fractions. Example: five by ten, three by seventeen, six by eight, three by nine. Here you can see all these denominators are different. So in like fraction, denominators are same. In unlike fractions, denominators are Different. Now let us see what is unit fraction. A fraction that is one as the numerator is called a unit fraction. Let us see some examples. One by five, one by twenty-eight, one by thirty-five, one by twenty-five. Next, what is a proper fraction? A fraction with the numerator less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. Let's take some examples. We can see the figure. In this figure, there are four equal parts. The circle is divided into four equal parts. Out of that, one part is shaded. Then, what is the fraction for this part? One by four. Here, one is the numerator. Or is the denominator? So numerator one is smaller than the denominator four. This is a proper fraction. Next example, you can see the figure is divided into three equal parts. Out of that, two parts are shaded. So so the fraction for this uh, figure is two by three. This is also a proper fraction because numerator is smaller than the denominator. One more figure. This in this figure you can see there are six equal parts. The whole is divided into six equal parts. Out of that, three parts are shaded. So the fraction for this part is three by six. So the numerator three is 
smaller than the denominator 6. So, this is also an example for proper fraction. Now, you have to remember always that a fraction, proper fraction has a value of less than 1. Let us see now what are improper fractions. A fraction that has the numerator greater than or equal to the denominator is an improper fraction. Let us see an example. Here you can see that each piece is half of an apple. Suppose there are five members in your family. Okay. So, each person ate half of an apple. To show the fraction for 5 halves, we write it as 5 by 2. That means 5 shows number of parts eaten. Okay? 5 parts are eaten. Then 2, that is denominator is the number of equal parts. Each apple is divided into. So, one apple is divided into two equal parts. So, the denominator is 2. Let us see one more example for improper fraction. Here you can see the square is divided into 4 equal parts. The whole, all 4 parts are shaded. Whole part is shaded, right? So, this we can write as the fraction as 4 by 4. Okay. Here you can see 4 by 4 means full, 1 full, 1. The value is 1. In 5 by 2, we see that it is more than 1. So, you have to remember that a pro an improper fraction has a value 1 or more than 1. Okay. Next, mixed fractions or mixed numbers. Here, again, we will take one example. Let us see what are mixed fractions. When we combine a whole number with a proper fraction, we get a mixed number. So, example you see, 2 1 by 2 2 is a whole number, 1 by 2 is a proper fraction. So, we say 2 1 by 2 is a mixed number or mixed fraction. 3 is a whole number and 1 by 4 is a proper fraction. So, 3 1 by 4 also a, an example for mixed fraction. And one more another example is 5 2 by 3 is also an example for mixed number or mixed fraction. Next, let us see the same example what we have taken for proper fraction, sorry, improper fractions. You see the fraction for this, how do we write the fraction for the improper fraction for this figure? 5 by 2, right? Now, let us see when we join these two apples together, two pieces together that is each is half of an apple right when we join these two halves what will have we get one full apple right again join these two halves then we get another one more apple now half part is left so we can write it as two whole and half piece right so we can write it as two one by two so what do you understand from this? We can say that we can by 5 by 2, we can see from this example that 5 by 2 is equal to 2 and a half or 2 1 by 2. Here 5 by 2 is an improper fraction, 2 1 by 2 is a mixed number. So we can say the conclusion that we can express improper fractions as mixed numbers and mixed numbers as improper fractions. Right, children? You understood that we can convert an improper fraction to a mixed number and mixed number to an improper fraction. So, how we will, how can we convert if the figure is not given and what are the steps? Let us see. First example, 13 by 5. It's an improper fraction. We are going to convert this into a mixed number. First step is we have to divide 13 by 5. Okay. And we have to get the quotient and the remainder. What is the quotient here? It is 2 and the remainder is 3. 
you know the divisor is 5 so what is the form of writing mixed number how to write you know first we had to write the whole number part as the quotient quotient we write as the whole number part and remainder as the numerator and divisor as the denominator okay so here the q quotient remainder by divisor that is the form okay let us see the next example b it is 20 by 6 a step divide okay divide 20 by 6 the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 2 now how to write it in the form of mixed number first we have to write quotient as the whole number part then remainder is the numerator and divisor is the denominator so 3 is the here 3 was the quotient so 3 we write as the whole number part and 2 was the remainder write it as numerator and denominator as 6 next one more example 15 by 3 let us first step let us see the divide and see what is the quotient and remainder Quotient is 5, remainder is 0. In this case, when we divide, if the remainder is 0, we have to write the answer as a whole number. That is 15 by 3 equal to only 5. Okay. So we have to uh, remember these steps, these uh, things. That is, we have when we convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, we have to write in the form of Q R by D. Q, quotient remainder by divisor and remember if when there is no remainder it is a whole number answer will be a whole number okay next we are going to convert mixed number into an improper fraction what are the steps let us see okay converting a mixed number into an improper fraction first example 3 1 by 5 this one we have to convert into a an improper fraction let us see how to convert that first step is we have to multiply 3 and 5 that is numer uh, denominator into the whole number okay denominator into the whole number then we have to add numerator one with that that will remain as the numerator of that answer then denominator will be the same that is 5 here denominator is 5 so we have to write the product of 3 and 5 multiply 3 and 5 first then add the numerator plus 1 then write the denominator as same now let us find out the answer of this product and uh, sum. we have to add 1 with that that is 3 into 5 product of 3 into 5 is 15 then add 1 plus 1 by 5 the answer is 16 by 5 so 3 1 by 5 the improper fraction of 3 1 by 5 is 16 by 5. Next question B. 2 3 by 4. What we have to do first? We have to multiply here 2 and 4. Okay. 2 into 4. Then that product we have to add with 3. Okay. Then what is the answer? Let us see. 2 into 4 plus 3. Then write the denominator as same. That is 4. Now four, 2 into 4. What is 2 4? 8 plus 3 by 4. That is 11 by 4 is the answer. Okay. 11 by 4. Children in class 4, you have already learned what are equivalent fractions. Now, see this figure. This pizza is divided into how many parts? Four equal parts. Okay, suppose you ate one part out of four parts. So, how can we write in the form of fraction 1 by 4? So, you ate 1 by 4 of the pizza. See the next figure. This pizza is divided into eight equal parts. And your brother ate two parts out of that 8 parts now how do we write the fraction 2 by 8 here who ate more 
or who got bigger piece? We can see that both ate the same amount of pizza. 1 by 4 and 2 by 8 mean the same amount. We can say that 1 by 4 and 2 by 8 are equivalent fractions. Which means 1 by 4 equal to 2 by 8. What are equivalent fractions then? Fractions that name the same part are equivalent fractions. Now, how can we find equivalent fractions if we don't have a figure? There are two methods. First method, let us see. From the above example only, 1 by 4 equal to 2 by 8. Here, 1 became 2, 4 became 8. How? We multiply 1 into 2. 1 and 2, we get 2. And 4 times 2 is 8. Now, get, we can find equivalent fractions by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number. This is the first method. Okay. To get an equivalent fraction, what are you to do? We can multiply numerator and denominator by the same number. Okay. Let us see the example. 3 by 5. We have to find one equivalent fraction for 3 by 5. So, let me multiply with 4. So, numerator 3 into 4. Denominator multiply by 4. 5 into 4. So, what is the product? 3 4s are 12. 5 4s are 20. So, we can say 3 by 5 and 12 by 20 are equivalent fractions. Next example B, 1 by 6. Find one equivalent fraction for 1 by 6. How do we get it? We can multiply with any number. But we should multiply numerator and denominator by the same number. Let us multiply with 3. Numerator into 3. Denominator into 3. So, 1 into 3, 3. 6 3s are 18. 1 by 6 and 3 by 18 are Equivalent fractions. Now, let us see the second method for finding equivalent fractions. Look at the figure given here. What is the fraction for the shaded part 4 by 12? See the second figure. What is the fraction for the shaded part 2 by 6? From the two figures, it's very clear that both the shaded parts are same or equal or equal, right? So, here we can say that 4 by 12 equal to 2 by 6. That means 4, and, 4 by 12 and 2 by 6 are equivalent fractions. Here we can see that 4 became 2 and 12 became 6. How? How can we change 4 as 2 and 12 as 6? We have to divide by a number. Which is that number? When we divide 4 by 2, we got 2. When we divide 12 by 2, we got 6. Here we have divided numerator and denominator by same number 2. So, what can we understand from this example? We can also... Find equivalent fractions by dividing the numerator and denominator by a common factor. What was the first method? We can find an equivalent fraction by multiplying the numerator and denominator by same number, right? Now, let us take examples. First example is 6 by 24. Here we have to divide by a common factor. That means we have to find out the find out common factor of 6 and 24. How can we find out the common factor? Here we can use the divisibility rule. You have already learned, right? You can see that 6 and 24 both are even numbers. So, six, uh, 2 is a factor of 6 and 24. That means 6 and 24 are divisible by 2. 
Now, any other common factor we can find? Yes. Even you can see that 6 is divisible by 3 and 24 also divisible by 3. So, we can say that 3 is also a common factor. Now, any other common factor? Yes. 6 is divisible by 6. Even 24 also divisible by 6. So, here we got 3 common factors. 2, 3 and 6. So, we can divide 6 and 24 by 2, 3 or 6. When we divide here by 6, we got numerator by 6, we got 1. When we divide denominator by 6, we got 4. So, 1 by 4 is an equivalent fraction of 6 by 24. Now, let us see the next example. 4 by 12. Here also, find a common factor for 4 and 12. Both 4 and 12 are even numbers. So, 2 is a common factor. Any other common factor? Yes. Even we can see that 4 is divisible by 4. Even 12 also divisible by 4. 4. So, 4 is also a common factor of 4 and 12. We got two common factors, 2 and 4. When we divide, we can divide either by 2 or by 4. When we divide by 4, numerator 4 by 4 is equal to 1 and denominator when we divide by 4, we got 3. So, we can see that 1 by 3 is an equivalent fraction of 4 by 12. See the textbook exercise 6a page number 81. First question is multiply the numerator and denominator by 3 in each of these to get an equivalent fraction. So first question is 1 by 5. You had find out an equivalent fraction of 1 by 5 by multiplying numerator and denominator by 3. Let us see what is the answer. When we multiply numerator and denominator by 3, we get 1 times 3, 3, 5 times 3, 15. So, the answer is 3 by 15. See the next question, 3 by 5. So, here also we have to multiply numerator and denominator by 3. See, 3 times 3 is 9, 5 times 3 is 15. So, the answer is 9 by 15. Now, see the next question is, multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, 3 and 4 in each of these to get 3 equivalent fractions. We are going to find out 3 equivalent fractions by multiplying numerator and denominator by 2, 3 and 4. Okay. See the first question, 1 by 4. First, multiply Numerator and denominator by 2. Next, multiply numerator and denominator by 3. Next, multiply numerator and denominator by 4. So, let us see what are the answers. 1 by 4 equal to 1 times 2, 2. 4 times 2, 8. 2 by 8 is the answer. Next, 1 times 3, 3. 4 times 3, 12. 3 by 12 is the answer. Next one, 1 times 4. 4. 4 times 4, 16. So, 4 by 16 is the answer. We can see that 2 by 8, 3 by 12 and 4 by 16 are equivalent fractions of 1 by 4. Next question is 2 by 3. Here also we have to multiply numerator and denominator by 2, by 3 and by 4. Okay. First multiply by 2, then multiply by 3. Then multiply 2 by 3 by 4. 2 into 4, 3 into 4. Let us see what is the answer. 2 by 3 is equal to 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 2, 6. 4 by 6. Next, 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 3, 9. 6 by 9. Next, 2 times 4, 4. 3 times 4, 3. 2 times 4, 8. 3 times 4, 12. So, the answer is 8 by 12. So, these are the equivalent fractions. 
Next question is divide by a common factor to get an equivalent fraction. First question 14 by 49. We have to find out a common factor. Okay, for 14 and 49. You know that 2 is a factor of 14 because it's an even number, but 2 is not a factor of 49. Okay, next factor for 14 is 7. 7 is a factor of 14. Now check 7 is a factor of 49 also. Yes. So we can choose 7 as a common factor and divide numerator and denominator. So when we divide numerator and denominator by 7, the answer is 2 by 7. Next question. 28 by 32. Here we can see that both the numbers are even numbers. So 2 will be a common factor. Check any other common factor. You know 4 is a factor of 28. Check 4 is a factor of 32 also. Yes. So we can choose 2 or 4. Here divided by 4. When we divide 28 by 4. What is the answer? 7. And when we divide 32 by 4, we, go, we get 8. So the answer is 7 by 8. Next question, fill in the empty boxes. Here we can find out the answer by multiplying or dividing. Okay. 2 by 5 here is equal to 15. Dash by 15. We have to find out the numerator here. So, denominator, first check, okay, denominators are given. 5 became 15. So, you have to think now, how 5 became 15? 5, 15 is a bigger number, right? We have to find out a, uh, that in the empty box, we have to find out a bigger number than 2. In this case, we have to multiply. So, 5 into what is 15? 5 into 3. 5 into 3 is? 15. We have to multiply 2 also by 3. Then what we get? 2 times 3 is 6. So here the answer is 6. So let us move on to the next question. That is, h by 7 is equal to 10 by 14. Here you see 14 left side number we have to find out. Okay, that though that number is 7 and 14, you see 7 is, numerate, in denominator you see 7 is smaller than 14. So, we have to find out a number which is less, smaller than 10. In here, in this case, to find out a smaller number, we have to divide. When we divide 14 by what? Which number? We get 7. When we divide 14 by 2, we get 7. Now, we have to divide 10 also by 2. 10 by 2. What is the answer? 5. So, here the answer is 5. So, remember here, in the to find the empty boxes, either divide or multiply. Okay? Next, checking equivalent fractions. That means, if the if two fractions are given, we have to check whether they are equal or not. For that, what we have to do? To check whether the two fractions are equivalent, we must cross multiply. If the cross products are equal, the fractions are equivalent. If they are not equal, that means the fractions are not equivalent. Let us take one example. 4 by 5 and 8 by 10. Cross products are 4 into 10. First cross product is 4 and 10. 4 into 10. What is 4 into 10? 40. Next cross product is 5 into 8. 5 8s are 40. You can see both the cross products are equal. So what can we say? They are equivalent. 4 by 5 and 8 by 10 are equivalent fraction. They are equal. Now we will see the next question. Exercise 6a question number 5. Cross multiply to find whether the fractions are equivalent. Let us see. First question. 6 by 9 and 3 by 2. 
See the cross products? 6 into 2. 6 into 2 is equal to 12. Next, 9 into 3. 9 3 is a 27. Are they equal? No. So, they are not equivalent. Cross products are not equal. So, 6 by 9 and 3 by 2 are not equivalent fractions. B. 2 by 4 and 3 by 6. Cross products. First cross product 2 into 6. 2 6 are 12. Next 4 into 3. 4 3 is a 12. You can see the cross products are equal. So what can we say? They are equivalent fractions. Four, 2 by 4 and 3 by four, 6 are equivalent fractions. Children, you have to solve all these questions in the notebook. Okay. Thank you children. Have a nice day.